hello everyone thanks for watching this video in this video we are going to understand how to reverse an integer array without using any additional array okay so let's have one main method where we are going to prepare our user input so this is the input we are going to take as per previous program that is program number 13 so this is again an integer type only user input okay user input so let's create one method hot get reverse without additional array method is name is little long but it's understandable and we are going to pass the integer array as a argument okay we are going to create this one fine so while creating first thing what we are going to do is uh, okay first thing what we are going to do is we will be getting one middle element int middle equal to user input dot length so this will be giving you the middle element of the mid and length middle of the array suppose that array size is 10 this will get you the 5 divided by 2 sorry this will give you the 5 okay now what you do is let's have one for loop this for loop is a little different in this for loop what you do is int i equal to 0 i is greater than your middle element okay i is greater than middle element i plus plus and what you do is have one local variable int j equal to array i mean this one dot length minus one okay and what you do is and next you put j minus minus okay j minus minus but you don't have to put semicolon you just put the column like this and then you can do int temp equal to int temp equal to user input of i and Copy this just we have to do the cyclic swapping and i equal to j and again j equal to tmp got it fine everything we are doing in do one thing um just create one local variable i forgot to create create one local variable user input input okay so fine so user input 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 we have to change this one input to see is there any way what now let's check the input array whether this got appended or not how we will check we have the arrays class in java.util where you have the arrays.toString 
in the to string you have to pass this input array and print it so you will be getting this is our expected output right so have some log so what you do is this out before reverse okay and then you keep here after reverse after reverse okay now if you run this program you will get to know oh before reverse i haven't print the array itself anyhow we have the one array we haven't used any second array so both will be same only before this one after this one we are doing the exact reverse here okay so let's let's summarize you you got the user input we stored here we printed through the arrays class which is available in util package and we find the middle element of that we started this loop till middle to i plus plus and the same way we are j that we are start subtracting initial j value is length minus one okay here we are doing the cyclic swapping okay so at the end we are removing temp okay and then immediately we are printing it here okay so and the same way we got the output also yeah thanks for watching this video